it comes down to you know, individual sparks of innovation, uh, that's the point where it really depends on individuals. So I think you know, the self-driving car is happening quickly because there were some individuals who did remarkable work, both developing and commercializing the technology. Um, I think you know, I can look at an area like uh, field service, you know, maintenance and repair and brake fix and all that stuff, uh, which is ripe for Internet of Things technology. You know, the idea that you can have a, a machine that you've sold to somebody that's a thousand miles away from your facility, but it has networked sensors attached to it, so you can anticipate when it needs to be repaired and fixed it before it gets broken, or you can monitor consumables or identify how it's being used and, and do something valuable with that. Uh, that's an example of an industry that looks ripe for disruption from the Internet of Things, but are there individuals with sufficient influence to drive that change? Will there be an Uber in field service? Will there be a, you know, a, a Tesla Motors in healthcare? Mm -hmm. Those are the things that, that are unpredictable. You know, there are opportunities everywhere. Really, the, the Internet of Things has the opportunity to disrupt any business that has things, and all businesses have things. You know, they have people, or they have assets, or they have buildings, or they have products, or they have raw materials, or, or something. So it really comes down to, you know, which individuals are going to innovate, which individuals are going to be allowed to innovate, uh, who, who is going to be able to exert influence to drive change. Uh, and that's very unpredictable, by the way. I mean, my experience of the Internet of Things came out of the beauty care industry. Mm -hmm. that, that was not predictable. It just happened that there were a number of people who were interested at the same time and were able to get some traction. Mm -hmm.